Hey, TJ, BHLP here. I'm a pastor in Wyoming and I make videos about Bibles, the Bible, and my everyday life as a pastor. And today I have a Bible that I got on my birthday from a dear friend of mine named Jacob. He sent it to me because we've talked about it a lot and I've said that I wanted to get my hands on it. And when we switched over to the CSB, a lady in our church actually grabbed this Bible and I said, man, I gotta, I gotta take a look at that. I've really been on a path of study Bibles. So up here I have the CSB study Bible, I have the ESV study Bible, I have the Life Council Bible, um, I have a couple other study Bibles at my office, and I just think study Bibles are really interesting. And so, with that being said, this is the Tony Evans study Bible from the amazing people at Holman. You guys know I love Holman. Um, it retails for about 70 bucks. It's a great Bible. This is the brown, or sorry, British town, British Tan leather touch comes in a slip case Bible. Um, it has study notes crafted from Tony Evans sermons and writings specifically. It has 50 less lessons on kingdom living, 60 quotation or questions and answers, 140 hope words, and more than 120 personal application questions, digital links to over 150 videos of sermons and devotionals and teachings from Dr. Evans. Um, it has page as cross references. It's a black letter text. It's got the presentation page. Um, introductory front matter, special black matter section. Back matter section with key definitions, theological doctrine, doctrinal charts, and other study helps, concordance, Bible reading plans, and full color maps. But we'll dig into all that here in a second. Let's jump over to the tabletop. So this is the box. It is a kind of slip in, slip out box. I don't know the exact um, title for those, but it's just one where you slip it in. It's actually a really nice box, really well built. Here's the back and those features. There's actually some really cool features in here that I do want to talk about and point out that I think are nice. So you can pause there, look at that. Let me just slide it out. I always struggle with these. It kind of reminds me of like opening Apple devices. Um, where it's like really nice, but so you know it's not going anywhere if it's in the box. But so this is the Tony Evans Study Bible. You get the front cover. This is that British tan, like we said. The front cover has a little bit around the edges, that little crown right there. Um, on the back spine, you have three like spine indicators: the crown. Tony Evans Study Bible, the Christian Standard Bible, and then the Holman on the back. Again, just that same backing. It has gold gill. There is no art gill. It is just gold, which, I mean, honestly, in a leather touch Bible, you're really not going to find art gilling. It has a kind of gold head and tail band, and it has two ribbons, a red and a gold ribbon. Now, in my study Bibles, I do prefer... Um, three, but that's okay. Again, those aren't very hard to put in there. Now, I do want to tell you that I think that teaming these two up, so this is one of my favorite Bible commentaries to use and carry with me when I'm studying, um, is the Tony Evans Bible commentary, and it has some similar features, but I think that this is a great commentary, especially when tying up with the study Bible. You're going to get more in-depth notes than you will in this, but just a really cool thing. So that commentary is actually what made me go, man, the Tony Evans study Bible would be cool. So you have um, a cardstock liner. You have a cardstock page there. You have your presentation page. Tony Evans study Bible, advancing God's kingdom agenda. It uses the 2017 text of the CSB. And then you have um, it comes in hardcover, British tan leather touch, that index, and kind of goes through, um, and it's all leather touch. But there's, there is a genuine, and both those are indexed. You can get everything indexed. And then you have your table of contents here. So a little bit about Tony Evans, um, the uh, scripture text here, and then additional material here. Um, you're going to notice these gold highlights throughout, and I think the gold highlights are, are really, really nice. Here's some of the features. Kingdom, personal, family. These are those king, kingdom living lessons, hope words, inspirational articles, and video devotionals, which we'll go into and kind of how they work later, in, later on. But then you have about 
Dr. Tony Evans, you have acknowledgments, introduction to this Bible, um, this really beautiful pages. Within our hearts is a desire to discover God, to see Him, to experience Him, to know His story. Um, very beautiful there. Then here's how to use a study Bible. Um, here's your study notes right here. Kingdom living lessons are going to be like kingdom. The category considers um, the theology of the kingdom. You're going to have your hope words. Um, inspirational articles throughout, video devotionals, Q&A with Tony Evans, um, Bible uh, book introductions, application questions inside, margin cross-references. Um, then you have your Welcome to the Kingdom article, How to Study the Bible, and th these are kind of those codes that you'll see throughout. And so you can um, like scan them with your phone, click into it, it'll take the article. We'll show you how to do that here in a sec. More how to study the Bible, introduction to the Christian Standard Bible. Um, again, if you're if you're like in any translation, if you've not read their like reasoning or their introduction to it, I think this is an amazing thing to go over. And again, keep in mind these gold accents throughout. Really, really cool. So after all that, you enter into the Old Testament. Here's your first introduction page. So your introduction pages are going to be those kind of old timey like rustic, uh, uh, what's a good word? Old, just old looking pages. Um, you're going to have the crown over the introduction, and then you're going to have the author, the historical background, the message and purpose, an outline here, and then a video intro here. So those video intros, you'll scan the QR code. Okay, so we'll have my handy dandy iPad out here. For this and so you'll scan the QR code click on it and then that'll take you to that video introduction and then you'll play the video introduction watch the video introduction I'm not gonna play too much of that because I don't want to get copywritten but that is for every single book of the Bible there's there is that give you a breakdown of Genesis and almost more of an introduction to the book. Then here's here's your layout. So you have your side column references. You have a double column text with those side column references. Your chapters are going to be indicated in gold. And then your verse numbers are black. It is a paragraph format, um, which isn't bad. The font is a really good readable font. Um, I'm a ways away, not looking specifically through the camera, but I'm a ways away even here on the tabletop and it's readable. And then down here, you'll have some um, like footnotes, uh, like in 121 or created sea monsters um, where it says, so God created the large sea creatures and every living creature that moves and swarms in the water according to their kinds. He also created every winged creature according to its kind, and God saw that it was good. Other other translations for that are created sea monsters, so you'll have those. And then you have your study notes here on the bottom. Now, when you're doing something like a Tony Evans study Bible, a, um, a Charles Spurgeon study Bible, these study notes aren't going to be as in-depth, but these are really good study notes. And then you have a Kingdom Living um, topic here, family, photograph of God, kind of reveals that. Um, and then you have application questions. So read Genesis 1, 26 to 27. What do these verses teach about family? How do you, um, ex have you experienced, how have you experienced God's provision in your efforts to manage your family and other spheres of life? So this Bible, well, not only is it a study Bible, and not only are you going to get cross-references, you're also going to get things to really make you think and dig deeper into the scripture. As far as paper goes, it is thin, but it's a really nice um, paper. There's not a whole lot of see-through or ghosting. It's line matched. It looks really good. Speaking of line matching, it's also a Smithsone binding, so it's going to hold up really well. I know that some people have problems with the leather touch or synthetic leather um, and that it flakes. And at times, yeah, I would agree with that. I've had that happen. I've had it happen with bonded leather. Um, I've even had some genuine Bibles that have had weird flaking issues. If you're not looking at goat skin or Battleassi Carlo or um, really nice um, leathers, you run that risk. But that's the beauty of having a Bible is that it, it should show the wear, tear, love, and time that you've put in. At least that's my personal thing. Uh, question and answers here. The role of the helper. 
and you're going to kind of have those all throughout the um, the whole text block. You're going to have these kingdom living points, things to make you think. Um, let's see if we can find any articles in here, just real quick, so we can show you one of those. I mean, you saw one kind of at the beginning. Let's jump over to the poetry setting here. Psalms, perfect. So um, it does switch up to a poetry setting. It goes verse by verse. Um, again, you have your cross, your yeah, your cross references on the side here, and you still have. If there's not a ton of cross references for that, you're going to have some pages and areas for notes, which is pretty cool. But it's going to go verse by verse and kind of um, out from those verse numbers, and it's a really nice. Um, uh, poetic layout. I really like the poetic layouts. I think that they are really cool. I think that they're really interesting. Um, and I like the change to let you know, okay, so here's like textual reading or, or um, academic or however you want to word that. And then here's poetry. And it does break up that so you know what you're reading because you read poetry different than you read other portions. And so uh, then here's another video devotional. Again, you just scan that QR code, read that. You'll find those throughout the text block. So here, a really nice poetry setting. Let's skip over into the New Testament. Again, you can see the, the old timey pages. And even within articles, that's what you'll get. And we're not passing. There's not a ton of articles throughout the text block. So you end in Malachi, and then you're into the New Testament. No intertestamental history or anything like that. Just right into the text of the New Testament. Your outline, all that good stuff. And then boom, into the New Testament. As with most CSB Bibles, actually, I have not seen it in any, or I have not not seen it in any, but you're going to have uh, the bolded where it's quoting the Old Testament, um, and then you're going to have a black letter text here. So there is not going to be any red letter text, which is one of my favorite things. Not for any um, doctrinal thing or theological like thing, it just, I find reading. Um, black letter easier than reading red letter. That's just a personal thing for me. It is a really beautiful layout. Ah, here we go. Woohoo! It's time for a resurrection. So here's your article. Again, going to be in that old paper, bold, what the article is about, and then the article itself back in the scripture. Um, so that's, a, I believe they are ex excerpts from sermons that he has preached. Here's another one. He is for you. Um, you can overcome. And I really think that this is this is beautifully done. I think that the the almost I don't even want to call them gold, but this the highlight color. Let's call it gold for lack of a better color in my mind is really beautiful and goes with the theme. And it's throughout the the entire everything that they want, like your subject headings or your topical headings for your portion of scripture, which it does have, which I think are always nice. Um, your footnotes, even your references, all in gold, which is awesome. Let's skip to the back and get to Revelation. And this is where we get into some of the really, really good stuff. So, you end Revelation 22, and you're right into um, a huge chunk of material. So, definitions of key terms and doctrines of the Christian faith. So, here is some areas of doctrine, biblical justice, confession, blessing, um, all of that stuff. Uh, dispensations, election. So, you are going to get a dispensationalist view here. Faith, fellowship, forgiveness, what that means. And so some of this is taking church words and sharing what they mean. So this is a great Bible. If you're just getting into church, um, here's a breakdown of church words. Because I do know, I call it church and ease. I know we use it a lot. Kingdom single, reconciliation, total depravity, unlimited atonement, worship. What all those words mean. Then you have a topical index of the kingdom. So here's the kingdom, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, all that. Then you have another topical index that has alignment angels, just your normal index. Then you have theological overview. So it's going to go theology, what it, theology proper, pro, a little proper, Christology, um, and so on and so forth. Um, even gets into eschatology, which is interesting.
and ecclesiology, which is nice. Um, then you have the attributes of the triune God, right? the transcendence, the omniscience, the omnipresence, the grace of God, all that. Um, then you have bibliology. So here's like a breakdown of different portions of theological things. Names of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Where, what they are, where they're found in the Bible, which is always good. Doctrinal outlines of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. So more doctrinally based stuff. Stuff on Christology, kingdom life. Um, then you have a harmony of the Gospels. It's a pretty good harmony of the Gospels, and it's always nice to have it in there. And I think it's beautifully done. It's a great chart. The Ten Commandments. Doctrines related to the parables of our Lord. Doctrinal emphasis in the miracles of our Lord. Um, Bible reading plans. So here's a definition of the Bible reading plans. You get a three-year Bible reading plan, which sometimes I feel is what I'm on. I'm a slow reader, though, y'all. Um, then you have a daily bread, uh, the Word of God in a year reading plan. And then you have a table of weights and measures here. Then you have a concordance. And it's a pretty stacked concordance. I've spent a little time inside of this concordance, and it's it's pretty stacked. I'm not going to lie. It's a, it's a good concordance for you to study through and do word studies on. I encourage you, like as you're starting your Bible study, if you're at that point in your relationship, start with word studies. That's how I started to study the Bible. I studied strength. I studied weakness. I studied a lot of the things that I was struggling with verbally in that time. And Then you have permissions, where things come from. Then you have those Holman maps on cardstock paper. They're not bad maps. They're just maps, which again, take it or leave it. I do think that maps are a good place and have a good place in study Bibles. Anything that says study Bible, I think, is okay to have that extra map stuff. Overall, I think the layout is really, really gorgeous. I think it's a great layout. Um, I'm actually excited to spend even more time in this Bible. I have not spent a ton of time... In it, I've had a lot of Bibles I've been using, um, my Life Council um, study Bible more, um, but this is an awesome study Bible, and I do use this to go through some of the study notes, and that's mainly what I use my study Bibles for, which in the future we'll do a video about study Bibles and, and what the uses are and what kind there are and all that kind of stuff. Now, size-wise, it is a big Bible. It's not small. Again, for reference sake, here is my thin line. The Bible that I have been using most regularly on my daily reading. And as you can tell, it is way thinner. Now again, that is the goal of this Bible. The goal of a thin line is to be thin. But it is way smaller. So this is maybe better for you for an everyday Bible. I have a review on this one that I'll put up around here somewhere. And you can look and see if that's a good one for you. But I think that this is a great Bible. If you're looking to find good doctrine... Um, good theological, and I may not agree with all of his theology, but he's a good dude. He's got a great heart, and this is an amazingly well-done Bible. So I would encourage you to check it out. Um, let's wrap this puppy up. But before we do, I do want to talk about, I think that, I truly do think that this Bible, paired with the QR codes that you can use, paired with his commentary, are an awesome combination. One you're going to get basically the same here. So we flipped over to Esther in that. Let's flip over to Esther in this in the Bible in the study Bible. See what we can what we can get to. No, way too far. Hold on, I'm feeling the pressure. Okay, we flipped over to Esther in both. And look, they pair really, really well together. You have um, pretty much a similar thing, right? You're going to have an introduction, which gives you two introductions to go through. You're probably going to have the same video there, but then you can go through this scripture and tag it along with study notes. And you know that you're not going to 
run into super conflicting views, which if you're anything like me, you'll read from a bunch of different people. And then, I mean, that's good. It takes a lot, but you'll have study notes to go off of and you'll have more in depth. Um, like, like here, we're still in chapter one over here. We're in chapter two over here, starting about right in this area. And you're just going to have more extensive notes here than you are in the study Bible itself. But I think that pairing these two together is a great pairing. So if you've got a student that you're looking to give that has said, hey, I really want to get into studying, I think you could pick up a Tony Evans commentary, and I think you could pick up a Tony Evans study Bible and be like, here's your package. Go go crazy. Um, they're, they're both great. They're both amazing. I've really enjoyed this, and I can't wait to get more into this. Everything being said, I think that the Tony Evans study Bible is a great study Bible. It's a great way to dip your toe in a study Bible. It's also a great way just to get started. If you are nervous about tackling something like the CSB study Bible or the ESV study Bible, um, and you, and you feel like those are real people that wrote these, by the way, that gave the notes and helped with the notes and stuff like that. But if you want one opinion, man, the Tony Evans study Bible has great info. It has videos that you can use if you're an audio or visual learner. It also has the text of the scripture, which you, you can't go wrong with the text of scripture, right? It has great study notes. It has great articles. It has ways to challenge you to dig deeper. I think that this is a great Bible for anybody in their walk with Christ. I think that it's a good one to pick up, to study, to go off of. Preaching Bible, maybe not. Definitely usable as that, size-wise and even font in uh, the paragraph layout, you know, the layout, you could preach from it, but I have a hard time preaching from study Bibles. Maybe you don't. So I would encourage you to pick this up. I will drop links in the description. I'll drop, try to drop three, one on Amazon, one on Christian books and one on even, even, uh, not evangelical Bibles. I apologize on Lifeway site. And so that you can pick it up if you would like it, you can find them on sale all the time and get them for a really good price. It's a great, gateway in to the study Bible realm. As always, and the only thing that truly matters in our Christian walk is Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by him. Jesus is the only name by which man must be saved. He is the gateway. He is the door. He is the pathway. He is everything to the Father to a reconciled relationship. If you are here in this video and, and, and you're struggling with adding a bunch of stuff to that, Take all of it away, study scripture, listen, there's things that you should follow and, and we should live lives that follow the word of God, but go back to the foundation of Jesus. And if you're finding this video going, well, I'm kind of interested, the first step you need to know before you have whatever Bible you want or anything like that is, do I have a relationship with Christ and what does that look like? And if you have questions about that, drop a comment or you can um, DM me over on Instagram. It may take me a little while to get... Back to you on that. I deleted it off of my phone. I now only check it on my iPad, and I'm not on my iPad all the time, but I promise I will get back to you. But the, the main thing is that we need Jesus. That's the biggest thing. Hey, what, is, what was your first ever study Bible, and how have you grown in understanding what a study Bible is for? I can remember my first study Bible, and I didn't understand what it was for, so I didn't get what the, side, the, the, the footnotes were and the, the study notes, so I just kind of used it just as a normal, like, thin line Bible, where I just used it and Forget all the other stuff. How have you grown? What helps you understand what that stuff is for? I hope you guys have a great day and enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.